Writing a column of fiery gases, a SpaceX rocket last night sent a privately built lunar lander on a mission to the moon. It's a robotic lander named Athena, made by a company in Texas called Intuitive Machines. Once it lands on the south pole of the moon, it'll start collecting information that could then help guide the creation of a future moon colony. Megan Moriarty explains how it works. The Intuitive Machines mission coined IM2 is meant to lay the groundwork for astronauts to return to the moon to set up a long-term lunar settlement. It sets the stage for a lunar economy. Stephen Altimus is the co-founder and president of Intuitive Machines. He says Athena, this six-legged Nova Sea lander, will land on the South Pole region of the moon. According to NASA, it's capable of carrying 300 pounds of cargo. It will also carry a drill that will be used to go beneath the lunar surface to look for presence of gases. Well, yeah, we have a good inkling that there's trapped water ice on the South Pole region of the moon. What we're going to do here is demonstrate the technique of how you might drill to find it. If water ice is found beneath the moon's surface, it could be extracted and used for drinking, breathing, and a source of hydrogen and oxygen. Associate Administrator Nikki Fox says this is important in locating where we can set up a lunar economy. We do need to find where kind of the best place is. Uh, that's actually why we have various different missions in the next few years going to different locations so we can actually look at, you know, eventually where would you want to set up that sustained presence. The goal is to transition these technologies so everyone benefits from the cutting edge research done in space. This is Megan Moriarty reporting. Intuitive Machines set another lunar on the moon last year. Athena, by the way, that one you just saw, could touch down as early as next Thursday.